Daniel Da Silva and Francisco Figueredo in the flyweight division. I'm going to be honest, guys. Th this is a such a close, close fight. I have been going back and forth on Francisco Figueredo and Daniel Da Silva. I'm going to tell you how both guys are going to win. Now, first off, Francisco Figueredo, the way he's going to win, make it very, very lackluster. Make it the most boring fight you can ever imagine and that, that's how Francisco is going to win. Keep on the feet. Just don't really do anything. Play the counter-punching role. Stay back. Have Daniel Da Silva come to you. And then land some takedowns. And grind out a decision with the wrestling and grappling. That is how Francisco Figueroa is going to win. Is literally just play super, super timid on the feet. Not really do anything at all. Uh, and then as Daniel Da Silva is coming in, land the takedown. Just control the fight on the ground and win the fight there. But, again, Daniel Da Silva, that's why it's such a close fight, is that, yes, I can totally see Francisco Figueredo doing that, laying in the takedowns and grinding out a decision, but I can see Daniel Da Silva landing a submission on the ground. He got that armbar submission win right there. He got a triangle choke submission win. Uh, got a knockout win, another triangle choke submission. Eight, or sorry, six submission wins right there, five knockout wins. The man is a finisher. I'm going to be honest. This dude finishes every single fight, or he gets finished in every single fight. And Francisco Figueroa is not a finisher. Um, I mean, he's going to come forward. He's going to throw haymakers on the feet. And on the ground, I, I cannot trust that Francisco Figueroa is going to be able to defend the submission. So it's either going to be a knockout or submission. It's not one I'm going to be super confident going either way for Daniel De Silva by knockout or Daniel De Silva by submission and again that might not even happen we can see Francisco grind in the wrestling to a decision this is such a close fight I'm gonna lean Daniel De Silva by finish I'm not gonna I'm not gonna specify a knockout or submission it's just inside the distance I, I cannot be so confident on Daniel because he's got six submissions and then uh, I believe it was five knockouts there so it's, it's kind of spread out on how he wins the fight but uh, I'm gonna go Daniel De Silva Silva very, very slightly right there by finish in the second rounds.